Back. We are now getting in some breaking inputs coming in from Russia. We are now learning that the Russian crisis is escalating further and the governor has confirmed that Wagner troops have now entered the Lipetsk region, moving closer to Moscow. Meanwhile, President Putin has spoken to President Erdogan of Turkey over the phone and amid alleged coup against him, Turkey's president has expressed his full support for the Russian leadership. What is to come out of uh, the Wagner's movement? Let's quickly go across to Abhishek Jha, who's on the phone line with me. Abhishek, what are you learning in terms of the tensions and uh, how soon at this rate of speed can we expect the Wagner group to in fact uh, reach Moscow? All right, we'll try and reconnect with Abhishek, uh, but the latest that we are bringing to you is that we are now learning the Wagner Group has uh, entered Lipetsk. And remember, this is one region which is very close to Moscow on that map that we were just flashing on your screen, only shows uh, that distance, or which, is, which seems to be pretty short when you compare it with Moscow. On the right side of your screen, you can see that distance is barely anything. Uh, according to reports, uh, it's two and a half hours from now that will take the Wagner group to reach if they continue to storm in at the speed at which they are moving inside Russia at the moment. Let's quickly go back uh, to Abhishek, who's on the phone line with us. Abhishek, the speed at which the Wagner group is now storming towards Moscow, it seems that if they are not stopped, they could very well make it to Moscow in a few hours. Uh, of course, uh, Akanksha, it, it's been less than 24 hours since this whole rebellion has totally come out in the open. Uh, and since morning, there have been conflicting reports of uh, negotiations going on between the Wagners and the Russian authorities. Uh, and then we have seen President Putin addressing the nation where he clearly said that uh, this whole armed rebellion will be treated as a treason and traitors will not be spared. They will have consequences to face. Uh, but since then, uh, the situation seems to have become more volatile because Wagner Group chief Prigozhin has uh, threatened that he will try to change the uh, you know leadership in Moscow and try to bring in new president. This is what apparently has been said from the side of Wagner Group chief Prigozhin. Now we are witnessing a continuous uh, movement and forward movement of uh, Wagner Group armored vehicles and their forces towards Moscow. And now they believe that if they are not stopped, maybe in few hours' time they will be very much in the city of Moscow. Mm. However, we have also reports that uh, in between the highways that they will be passing through and crossing uh, to various states, uh, security officials from the Russian Armored Force, they have picketed, they have formed uh, barricades and machine guns and other equipments have been positioned to stop them from moving forward and stopping them. And uh, meanwhile, they are also trying not to escalate it further. So far, there has not been a single skirmish that has been reported between the Wagner groups and the Russian forces are forces loyal to the Russian authorities. Uh, the, the point is that how come Wagner groups are moving with so much of a speed and agility without being any ob without facing any obstacles? So clearly, there is some uh, something amiss that is going on. How there, there there could be certain government or certain district administration which is not trying to stop Wagner group or maybe facilitating them also. It has been also reported that Wagner's have their uh, small sympathizer groups across Russia. So. Uh, it is not necessary that the group that has started from Rostov region, that would be only reaching to Moscow, but other, uh, you know, small pockets and right. group of Wagner who are situated right. across countries. Thank you, Abhishek, for bringing in all those inputs. We'll have to wait and watch uh, how these conflicting reports, in fact, pan out to be. Uh, who is aiding the Wagner group right now? It is currently unknown. But as far as the international community swinging into action is concerned, we'll also have to wait and watch because the latest we are learning is that Turkey's President Erdogan has reached out to President Putin. We'll keep a close watch on all those developments in Russia.